my dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus the beginning of today's gospel passage Jesus speaks about his journey to Jerusalem and he is revealing to his disciples that the son of man is going to be handed over and he will be undergoing all the sufferings passion death and the resurrection of jesus is foretold in this gospel passage and jesus was telling his disciples that the time has come that i have i'm making myself humble and i receive and i go through all these sufferings and i receive the cross and i die for the people of god and by his death and resurrection he is saving everyone in this world brothers and sisters we are all saved by his holy blood while he was speaking about his life journey he told his disciples that this is the time the lord is going to make himself humble you know brothers and sisters from the very beginning of his life jesus was in a hum- humble situation he was born in a manger at bethlehem though he was the son of god he lived like any other ordinary person in this world and all the 30 years he was under the supervision of his parents and he was submissive and very ordinary ordinary and natural life after that 3 years of public ministry because jesus was convinced that he came to this world to do the will of his father he started his public ministry and that was only for 3 years now the time has come jesus is going to die on the cross and he was telling all these things to his disciples my dear brothers and sisters even at this time while jesus was revealing the sacred truths to them they were not listening to those things the very next paragraph we read that james and john son of sebedi they were going and asking the lord lord please do do a favor for us please do do a favor for us and they said to him very clearly jesus asked them what can i do for you and they said allow us grant us to sit one at your right hand and one at your left in your glory my dear brothers and sisters very often this is happens to our life too even when jesus was speaking about his death even when jesus was speaking about his suffering his disciples came and asked jesus allow us to sit one at your right hand and allow us to sit one at your left hand they were thinking about the glory of god they were thinking about the blessings that they are going to receive but they were hardly aware of the sufferings that jesus has to undergo my brothers and sisters these disciples very often represent each one of us we are not far away from these disciples we also come before the lord with all our intentions and that is not bad we have to bring all our intentions before the lord and we have to place them on the altar this is the best time in the holy mass we can offer all our prayers all our aspirations or our ambitions and all our needs all our weakness everything can be offered on this altar but brothers and sisters finally our prayer must be this jesus i offer everything i pray for my needs but not my will let your will be done 
Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. My brothers and sisters, the attitude of Jesus was always this. Even when he was facing suffering, even when he was facing death, even at the time of his glory, even in the midst of praise and worship and wonders, even when Jesus was doing miracles, always he was at the service of his father. He had the great conviction that I have come from my father to save the people of God, to speak the love of God and to get people for heaven. So he, was, he had no confusion. Always he was clear about his goals. My dear brothers and sisters, very often what happens to our life, we are not clear about our goals. As St. John's reminds us, we are, we, are, we are people of this world. Though we are in this world, we are not of this world. But very often we, are, we, look, we look like and we behave like people of this world. My dear brothers and sisters, if we look into our own life, very often we can understand that what is the matter of our talk, even an ordinary conversation? What is the matter of our conversation? We are thinking about this world. Am I right? We are thinking about our job. We are thinking about the extension of our house. We are thinking about buying a new house. We are planning to buy a new vehicle. Always we are in the world of this matter. We are not able to go beyond. We are not able to go beyond. When we come to the church, when we come for the service, we pray that, Lord, help us, Lord, bless us. Lord, we are praying for good death, we are praying for heaven. All those things which take place in the chapel, maybe on Sunday, uh, one hour. The rest of our whole life, we are very much mingled or we, we are very much worried about this life alone. My brothers and sisters, the Lord is telling us, the Lord is telling us, you are you are given a specific mission to be completed in this world. Once that mission is over, we all have to go from here. Our eternal residence is not here. We have to go to meet the person of Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, so the first point for our reflection is that what is our attitude towards suffering and pain? And what is our attitude towards eternal life. The second point I would like to discuss with you is that those people who live a humble life, they are able to follow Jesus Christ very closely. The book of Sirach, chapter 3, verse 18, we read that the Lord is telling us that if you make yourself humble, the great you are, the more you must humble yourself. So you will find favor in the sight of the Lord. You may be a big person. You may be holding a big job. You are a well-educated person. You may have, you have, you have a lot of knowledge of this world. The great you are, the more you must humble yourself. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So brothers and sisters, we could see from the history that always the great people, they made themselves very humble for the service of the people and for the service of God himself. The more you are humble, the more you are available, the more you are approachable, people come to you. You will be able to serve the Lord. This humility must be seen in all the areas of our life. Brothers and sisters, Humility is the mother of all other virtues. If a person who is humble, he does not get very upset. He is not much worried. Because he thinks that he is a small person. He is a simple person. He, he always thinks, he or she always thinks that there can be, there, there is always possibility of mistakes. So he's not worried about anything. A simple person, a humble person is always loved by everyone. Am I right? 
Brothers and sisters, a couple of years ago, I went for a meeting of the priest. And in that meeting, there was a Carmelite brother. This meeting was only for one or two hours, and we were there for only two hours. But even after four, I think it is four or five years ago, but still I remember there were so many people who were there, uh, including the bishop. But still I remember this person, though we were together only for two hours, he was such a humble man, prayerful man. He was so kind towards everyone in serving people, asking their needs, helping people in their life, and asking every priest, Father, what do you need? Or Father, where are you? How are you? So he very simple person. But he was able to serve the Lord. And many people who came for that meeting, they appreciated the spirituality, especially the humility of this person. My dear brothers and sisters, when you make yourself humble, when you serve other people, you are proclaiming the gospel of the Lord. The book of Job, verse 20, uh, chapter 22, verse 29. The book of Job, chapter 22, verse 29. When others are humiliated, you say it is pride, for he saves the humble. The Lord always saves the humble. The Lord has compassion for people who are humble. And again we read in the Gospel of Luke, chapter 1, Verse 48, where Mother Mary, she says that he has looked with favor on the loveliness of his servant. Surely from now on, all generation will call me blessed. When Mother Mary was elevated to be the mother of Jesus Christ, she made herself very humble. And he told people that, I'm a humble servant. Here is the servant. My dear brothers and sisters, when we make ourselves humble, the Lord will lift us up. And again we read in the letter, to, letter of St. James, chapter 4, verse 10. You know that there are so many people who say that I'm not, I'm not growing in my life. Sometimes the reason is that you are not humble enough. Humble yourself before the Lord and he will exalt you. Brothers and sisters, those who want to become great, let them make themselves humble because they are going to be exalted by the Lord. So my dear brothers and sisters, when we participate in this Holy Mass, we ask the good Lord, Lord, give me the grace to make myself humble. And I think if we, if we are able to practice this virtue, most of the problems in our families, in our society can be um, can be reduced. What is a problem very often in our families? People are not ready to make themselves humble. The husband is telling he is right. The wife is telling she is right. The children are telling they are right. So all are in their own compartments. Nobody is ready to accept the other one. Nobody is ready to make himself or herself humble. Everyone want to win over the other person. My dear brothers and sisters, if you really want to win over the other one, make yourself humble. You will see, you will see the power of humility through, the, through your own life experiences. When Mother Teresa of Cal Calcutta, she was taking care of us, you know, she was taking care of so many sick people and the children and the orphans. She did not have much money. She went around and begging money. When she went to beg money then to a, to a big businessman, he asked her, why did you come? He said, give me something for my children. The person had spit on her hand, but she did not worry. She took a small piece of paper and cleaned and cleansed her hand and she she told him you had given for me what is needed but now give me something for my children brothers and sisters 
such a humble people are still in this world we could see the we could see the humble people even in today's world and we could experience of fragrance fragrance of their humility in different places because they are not worried about their own image they are very much worried about in serving other people my dear brothers and sisters humility brings people to you and it helps to die for our selfishness and to grow in the person of jesus christ you know that humble person can learn things humble person can admit mistakes a humble person can say to someone that i made a mistake brothers and sisters if you start learning new things if you start admitting your mistakes if you are ready to serve other people our life will be more sweet and people could experience the fragrance of your life in this mass we pray that lord make me a humble instrument of your love and peace let people around me may feel that i live for christ amen